What's up guys? Welcome to the show. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited to be here to Brionis Pickleball. So today we're gonna run through three drills that pros actually do. So one of the most important parts of my drill routine is actually warming up third shots in a little bit of a different way. So most people warm up their third shots with one player at the baseline and one player up at the net. But that's not a real third shot. A real third shot is hit off of my opponent's return of serve. So instead of just doing baseline to net over and over, Jordan and I are gonna do a three shot drill, a serve, a return, and a real third shot. So the reason why we like to do this drill is because it's a real serve, a real return, and a real third shot. And obviously we only show this from the, the deuce side or the even side, but just as importantly, we're gonna do the same exact drill from the other cross court. So this next drill that I really like is a competitive way to work on your mid court game, as well as working on when that person is driving at you at the net. So we're both accomplishing something with this drill. Jordan is gonna start out in the midcourt and he's basically gonna feed a drive at me and we're playing it out. Naturally, he's gonna get a lot of shots hit back to his feet and I'm gonna get a lot of reps of somebody banging the ball at me. Then we're just gonna play the point out. We'll go to five, okay? Go to five, let's do it. Here we go. Reset machine over there. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> nice <dang>. point. <laughs> okay, here we go. Five zero one. Eh. Oh yeah. No. Oh wow. Zane's got some ice. Zane's got some ice. Eh. Eh. No. Yeah, this is baby. in the mid court. You can't miss that yeah, in the net. Oh, nice. Good rip. Twos. Eh, just chicken wings on chicken ah. wings. Now, normally I make my, my opponents or my partners drop serve it from the waist, ah, but okay. since this is Jordan's channel, we'll let him serve however yeah, he like, wants. Like, excuses, excuses. <laughs> He's gonna serve overhand. <laughs> oh, nice. Ooh, three, three. Oh, it's wide open. All right, four. Oh, I can't lose, I cannot lose. Really quick, has your game felt like it really hasn't been improving and maybe you've been stuck at the same place for a really long time? Well, I just created this five part video series that is guaranteed to get you to the next level and you can access it for free. All you have to do is go to the description below, click on the link, put in your email and we'll show you step by step everything that you need to do to get you headed towards improvement. Four or three, Zane. Uh-oh. Championship. No, oh. that's so bad. <laughs> that's a choke. That's a choke. Here, let's Unbelievable. Switch it. Let's switch it. Oh. Ah, that's a good ball. That's a good ball. Come on. Here we go. One zero. Don't let anybody fool you. You can drive from the midcourt if you want to. Here we go. Most people absolutely should not. <laughs> ah! All right, he's on a roll. He's on 30. a roll, folks. Oh, ah, what? Three, one. Can you measure your net out here? Yeah. That's nice. a good ball. Good point. That's a good ball. 4 1. No. Oh. Yep. 4 2. Sloppy. 4 2, baby. Yeah. Come on. That's a good ball. Come on. All right. Good stuff. So, this is a really good drill to get repetitions from the midcourt and working your way in, as well as defending 
against those drives and even punishing some of those drives if they're not good enough. Yeah, I would say, um, especially here, my first inclination is to counter first, right? It's really hard, especially with the pace you're giving me on that first ball. If I could get it low at the feet with some pace, that's probably my best bet um, for most players. So at least from here, if you're gonna be doing this, my suggestion is have at least a counter first mentality. And then um, again, because if you slow it down, if I slow it down, but it's super high, then Zane's gonna be attacking again, so definitely. So this last drill that I do pretty much every day is hands, but hands with a purpose. A lot of times I see players go out there and just hit volleys back and forth to one another without really picking a target. When you're actually in one of those hands exchanges, you wanna be putting that ball on your opponent's weakness, whether that's at a chicken wing, maybe they don't have a strong backhand, so picking a target. You can do this several different ways, but right now we'll just demonstrate where I'm aiming everything at Jordan's backhand and he's gonna aim everything at my backhand in this quick hands exchange. Good. Nice. One thing that you want to maybe avoid is just waiting on your backhand here. When we're doing this drill, we still wanna make sure that we're coming back to a good ready position where theoretically we could still hit that forehand. Eh. Eh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> nice rally. So we can also switch up our targets on some of these too. Like maybe I want to go backhand to, to forehand or vice versa. This is a drill that John Sincola actually showed me and we do pretty much every time we, we play or drill. So bonus drill, I don't actually spend a ton of time working on my dinks in practice. I usually play a game. One point, the ball has to stay in the kitchen and the loser has to do a butts up. So we're gonna do it from this angle right here. All right, here we go, Zane. Has to stay in the kitchen. I'm not losing this one. I'll oh, tell you yeah. that. We're grinding. Okay. 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 This is where you really want to okay. watch your you need to watch your depth too. Okay. That backhand's looking shaky. Yeah, I'm gonna keep finding that. He doesn't know this is my best shot. Maybe his forehand's shaky over there. It is. Oh! <laughs> Oh! Oh! Oh, I missed it! Oh, was line. it on the line? No! <laughs> was it on the line? It was on the line. Oh. All, right. All right. So, since Jordan lucked out and beat me in that one, I stand behind the baseline, he stands behind the kitchen, I present my buttocks and he gets to smack the ball at it as hard as he wants to. Out of the air? Out of the air. It's like overhead style. You can do whatever you want. Do I get to stand at the non volley zone? Behind right? the kitchen. Behind the kitchen. Are you Ernie? It? Behind this kitchen. No, right? no, 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 behind <laughs> that kitchen, behind that kitchen. What do you mean? <laughs> All right. All right, Zane. Why do you have your paddle in between your legs, dude? You have kids, you should know. Here we go. I'm gonna make sure I foot pull after too. Here we go. Oh! Oh! <laughs> and that's drilling with Zane. <laughs> oh, what? So much spin. Oh no! You gotta you gotta edit that out. <laughs>